She's not even holding an equilibrium there. Let's just give her a few minutes. But she's definitely waking up. I think it's going to be worth releasing. That's good. Send her upriver. Well, I'm glad we did that. She deserved it. Well, let's go check our other net. Maybe we'll find a male that we can eat tonight. There's definitely debris in this one as well. Here we go again. Oh, here's one right here. Oh. Looks like we're catching fish. There he is. I think that's a male. Yep. Something to eat. Oh, there's one here. We've got two nice ones there. That's payoff for conservation. <laughs> I got something heavy here. A live one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. Is that male? Yeah. Yay. A little bit of driftwood and three nice keeper fish. I'm glad that we don't have a net full of fish because that is more than we would need and we don't want to overfish. That's perfect for what that species can give to us. Look who came. Hi, Hi Dickle. Dickle. Yay. He says, you guys cooking some salmon for me? Good boy, Dickle. Dickle's been a great dog. And I think about all the great times I had with him, all the adventures we shared together. And I'd celebrate that, not the fact that it might be the last couple of weeks or the last month. That is delicious. It's pretty hard to be too much fresher than that. You know what I think makes it really taste good is knowing that there's one that was released out of it today. I'm very proud of the fact that I was able to release a female king salmon to go up and, and finish spawning. This life has provided a really, really good life for me and I just want other people to have the opportunity to experience that. Cheers. Cheers. Jink. Oh, that's so good.